welcome you guys to my very first YouTube video. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Jazz and I created this channel with the intention of helping women crush their fitness goals by educating you guys with sustainable and scientific backed tips. Um, so in the fitness industry today, I'm sure you guys are aware, there are so many fads and, and myths that are circulating that actually aren't true. And today I just wanted to touch on three of those specific myths that could actually be hindering you instead of helping you when it comes to reaching your goals. So the first myth that we're going to talk about today is going to be the idea that you have to go on some type of restrictive diet or special diet. And by special diet, I really just mean things like keto or veganism or low carb, extremely low calorie, whatever. There's always some new fad diet popping up and don't do those. <laughs> That's pretty much what I came here to say. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. So there's several problems with these super restrictive diets um, and being super restrictive is one of them. And that's kind of the problem. The problem is that these diets are so restrictive that it's unsustainable. And when it comes to your fitness goals and if your goal is fat loss, when it comes to fat loss goals, sustainability is going to be very, very important. So if you're trying to stick to something that in the end is not sustainable, then you're not going to get the results that you want to see. Now, this is not to say that keto can't work or veganism doesn't work, you know, there are definitely people who lose weight through these diets. Um, but for most people, the problem is not getting results, it's keeping results. It's sticking to the diet and maintaining the results that they get, which at the end of the day is probably really all we want. We just want to get results and then we want to keep them. Um, and also when it really just comes to creating a healthier lifestyle overall, um, you know, that key word is lifestyle. That's something that you want to maintain for the rest of your life. If you have to do something crazy like completely cut out all carbs and sugar, then it's not something that you want to stick to for the rest of your life. Um, another thing that these diets really tend to do that I absolutely hate is that they create fear around specific foods like carbs and sugar and things like that and meat, dairy, etc. You know, there's always a new food that you have to completely kick out of your diet according to fitness influencers and Susan from work or whoever. Um, at the end of the day, there's room for all different types of food in a well-rounded, balanced diet. Um, so don't feel the need to completely restrict yourself of a food group or a type of food. At the end of the day, the number one thing that you want to focus on when it comes to fat loss is going to be being in a calorie deficit. A calorie deficit is going to be absolutely king. It's completely necessary. If you do not maintain a calorie deficit for, you know, over the, the course of time, over a period of time, you're not going to see any results when it comes to fat loss. Now, what is a calorie deficit? Um, just for the, for the sake of time, I'm going to keep it really short. I might be making another video about calorie deficit more in depth um soon later um but basically what a calorie deficit is that you are um burning more calories than you take in so in other words say that you burn 2000 calories for the day in order to maintain that calorie deficit you want to eat below 2000 calories if you eat at or above 2,000 calories, you are either going to maintain or gain weight. Um, the best way to manipulate that energy balance is to eat less calories. A lot of people might focus on burning more calories and that's going to be, you know, that's going to be important to a certain degree, but at the end of the day, the best way to manipulate that energy balance and to get into that calorie deficit is going to be to eat less calories. Um, so don't worry about counting calories in terms of how much you burn, but you want to focus on calories in terms of what you're eating. Um, and that's going to be the main thing. It doesn't matter if you're eating carbs or fats, proteins, sugars, meats, whatever. 
Um, as long as you maintain a calorie deficit, you're going to see that that fat, that weight loss um, happen. Um, so if you're doing keto, if you're going vegan, whatever you're deciding to do, if you're not in a calorie deficit, at the end of the day, you're not going to lose fat. It doesn't matter. Calorie deficit is going to be king. So focus on that. Um, when it comes to losing weight and not trying to do some crazy diet that you can't stick to. The second myth that we're going to talk about in terms of um, losing weight and reaching the fitness goals is going to be the idea that cardio is going to be key for fat loss. And that is also untrue. You don't have to do insane amounts of cardios to lose weight. Um, the main type of exercise form that you want to focus on is going to be weight training. Um, especially if, like most women, if you want to build a booty or you want to get more defined arms or legs or whatever, the method to do that is going to be to lift weights. Um, now, cardio can definitely be an accessory to weight training. It's definitely something that you can do a couple times a week. It is going to help you a little bit, but it's a tool. It's not the meat and potatoes of your exercise regimen. Um there are several reasons for that, but just to name a few, um, gaining muscle is going to be, it's going to make your body more efficient at burning calories. And that goes back to the calorie deficit. That is going to help you better maintain that calorie deficit. Um, it's a lot more in depth, but again, just for sake of time, um, building muscle is going to make your body better at burning calories. Another reason that cardio is something that you don't want to focus too much if you're trying to lose fat is going to be that it makes you insanely hungry. So if you do insane amounts of calories, I mean, insane amounts of cardio, you're going to be burning insane amounts of energy and your body responds by needing more food. It's going to be like, oh my gosh, I have no energy. I burned it all. Now I got to eat to build it back up. Um... So if you're doing crazy amounts of calorie, your appetite is going to shoot up. And that also goes back to the calorie deficit. If you have a higher appetite, it's going to be harder to maintain a calorie deficit because you're just wanna, going to want to eat all the time. Um, so just make sure that you don't overdo it with the, with the um, cardio and make sure that you are focusing on resistance training and weight. And the third and final myth that we're going to go over today is thinking that you have to be perfect. And this is something that I see all the time. I see women, um, I've seen women that I've worked with through my personal training clients and things like that, or just friends and family. Um, they try to be absolutely perfect. So they're like, oh, I can't eat carbs. I'm not, eat I'm not eating carbs right now. I'm not eating sugar. Um, I'm not eating meat right now. And they think that they have to completely stick to that. And if they fall off, if they deviate from the plan, then it's all going to come crashing down. And that's just not the case. We as humans are imperfect. We are not perfect people. Um, we are not perfect creatures. And that is also the truth when it comes to our fitness goals and our fat loss goals. You're not going to be perfect. You're going to mess up. It's going to happen. And it's okay. The key is to get back on track. So say that you eat freaking... You have five cookies and you're, you start freaking out and you're like, oh my gosh, I ate five cookies. I've completely derailed all my progress. You have it. It's okay. Breathe. Eat the five cookies. Enjoy the five cookies as I'm sure you did because I sure would. And move on. Move on. The next day, even the next meal, just pick it right back up where you left off and then keep progressing. Um, it's one of my favorite sayings. I know it's kind of cliche and corny at this point, but progress over perfection every day. Um, so don't worry about being perfect. Just work on, you know, being better than you were the day before. Again, that was so freaking corny, but it's like, it's honestly the truth. It's the truth. Um, you have to pick it up and keep going even if you mess up. And the only way that you can fail is to give up. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up. And if you guys want to share with me what you struggle with most in your fitness journey or your fat loss journey or whatever your fitness goals are, 
let me know in the comment section like this video um share with your friends and subscribe um i can't wait to give you guys so many more videos with all the information that can hopefully help you crush your fitness goals and i will see you guys next time